Hey guys, what's up? So today, we are featuring Novaria, the Star Rebel. Novaria is the daughter of an astral artificer from the celestial haven of Stargate Valley. She possesses a solitary nature, formidable strength, and a pure heart that radiates compassion. However, the same stars that are the source of her power are also responsible for the calamities that have befallen her family and stripped away her freedom. Shackled by astral rings, Novaria broke free using the power that she desperately hid in her early years. Her new goal is to complete the Star Atlas and with it, unlock the secrets of the stars. Hero Skills Novaria is an artillery mage with burst potential and support capabilities. First skill, Astral Meteor. Novaria uses her first skill to continuously deal magic damage and gradually slow down the enemies in a designated area. Second skill, Astral Recall. In the first stage, she enters Astral State and then draws an Astral Spirit towards her from a distance, slowing enemies along the way. While in the state, Novaria moves faster and can pass through the rings. Upon catching the Astral Sphere, her second skill changes to Star Shatter. Second skill, Star Shatter. Novaria can launch the Sphere, detonating upon impact with the first hero it hits. The damage can increase based on the Sphere's travel distance, and it starts where the Sphere is summoned. Ultimate, Astral Echo. Novaria scatters Astral Echo in a direction to briefly slow and increase the hitbox of enemy heroes by 250% and they will also become visible for 8 seconds, revealing the surrounding area. Passive Skill Star Trail With the power of stars, all of Novaria's skills can reveal the location of enemy heroes. Pro Tips at the beginning of the game, start by leveling up her first skill to quickly clear the first wave of minions. After that, prioritize her second skill and ultimate whenever possible since her second skill is her primary source of damage. Although her first skill is mainly used for clearing minions, it should be given less priority compared to the other skills. To maximize the damage of her second skill, you'd want to move away from where the spear is summoned. By doing so, you gain more stacks to increase its damage. Remember that travel distance starts from where you first summon the spear. Her second skill has a long-range feature, providing a safe way to check bushes for lurking enemies. Moreover, the spear briefly detects hidden enemies if it passes through a bush where they are hiding, making it an excellent tool for reconnaissance. As soon as Novaria casts her second skill, she gains the ability to move through terrains. Use this advantage to maximize the travel time for the spear to fly toward her, then launch it from the longest distance possible. Novaria's ultimate gives her extra vision, allowing her to hit enemies with her second skill from a distance. And because of the increased hitbox, it makes it easier to hit her targets. Her second skill upon entering the astral state provides a movement speed boost that can further be enhanced by 60% if you pass through a wall. Because of her astral state, you can move outside the walls to evade those fast-moving enemies. You can use her second skill to check multiple bushes in the jungle area, giving you a tactical advantage over your opponents. Laning Phase To gain an advantage during the laning phase, use your first skill to slow down the enemy, then activate your second skill while retreating. Position as far as you can before triggering your second skill to deal the highest possible damage. Her first skill is good for clearing minions fast as it deals HP-based damage. You can win the lane by using her range advantage. Target the enemy hero to make them recall to their base, which eventually delays their farming. Team Fights When in team fights, use her second skill first, followed by her ultimate to provide vision. Maintain your distance as far as possible, and then launch your second skill again. Try to get a clear path to your primary target because enemy heroes and summons can block her second skill. When you suspect the enemy team is rushing the Lord, use the ultimate to gain vision on that area. Take advantage of the vision and decide whether to initiate the team fights. There is a brief slow effect on her ultimate, making it a good chasing skill when the enemies are escaping. Tactics Novaria's mobility and incredible attack range makes her a formidable ranged mage. As early as level 2, she has the ability to roam and provide support to teammates or disrupt the enemy jungler while maintaining distance. And because her second skill allows her to pass through walls and provides a zoom out view, 
This makes it easier to navigate in and out of jungle areas. Because of the long range, you can gain the advantage of lowering the enemy's HP before the team fight even starts. Watch out for those low HP enemies that are trying to recall after a team fight. You can clear minions faster by combining her first and second skill, giving you more time to support your allies. In the late game, Navara should draw around the battlefield looking to hit enemy heroes from unexpected angles. In this stage of the game, you should focus on sniping enemies on the back or those core damage dealers to destroy the formation and win the fight. Build there are two distinct build paths to consider when playing Novaria. The first is a utility mage build, emphasizing cooldown reduction and additional damage from Glowing Wand. Remember, her skills are HP based, which means she can still deal decent damage even with a low magic power build. The second build focuses on burst damage, prioritizing Clock of Destiny and Lightning Truncheon. With this build, she can easily eliminate half of a squishy hero's HP with a single skill in the late game. For added sniping abilities, Flameshot is recommended while Flicker is a good option when facing highly mobile opponents. Counter when fighting Navaria, you have to watch out for her long distance damage. You can avoid it by dashing or doing unpredictable movements. Athena's shield is a great counter against her damage. The protection it gives almost has the same cooldown as her second skill. Navaria is an easy target after her astral state. Wait until she uses the skill to attack because she'll have limited mobility after that. Synergies she is a valuable teammate for allies who require precise targeting due to her ability to enlarge enemy hitboxes. Examples are Franco Sook, Selena's Abyssal Arrow, and Beatrix's Sniper Mode. All of them require accurate aim, and with the help of Astral Echo, hitting enemies will become easier. And that's it for our hero, Novaria. So what can you see about her skills? Share it in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.